Hi everyone, Bruce Cannon Sal here from Pool Services Technologies. Today we're going to be testing free chlorine and combined chlorines. We will start with free chlorines first. We like to use the Taylor reagents and products, so we will be using their Speedster to help agitate. Ken's going to take and get a good scoop of the Taylor Zero, uh, the DPD powder, excuse me, put it in there, and we see pink, which indicates we have chlorine. He'll drop in the agitating pill and turn the Speedster on. And the next step he'll do is grab the R0871 reagent. Now he's going to do this drop by drop till the pink turns clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine drops. We divide that by two to get an accurate free chlorine level. So that would give us an indicator of four and a half parts per million of free chlorine. Now we'll check for combined chlorines and he will grab the R0003 and put in five drops. If the color turns pink or slightly pink, which it appears to, it indicates we have some combined chlorines. Those are your bad chlorine. And so now he'll go back to the R0871 and add the drops necessary to come back to clear, probably about one. So there's one drop and we're clear. So we have a half part per million combined chlorines. We never want to be over one part per million combined and that's your simple chlorine, free chlorine and combined chlorine test.